Speaker, yesterday the Prime Minister said law enforcement officers cannot seize gun licenses. He is wrong. An RPAL or PAL is invalidated when it's seized by police for public safety, and that person has no ability of law to possess or acquire any firearm. Will the Prime Minister now admit that Canada has long had legal options to seize firearms in public safety scenarios and apologize for misleading this House yesterday? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me be very clear. Red flag laws save lives. I've actually used the, the, those sections of the criminal code to seize firearms in these dangerous situations. And I can also advise you, Mr. Speaker, of the limitations of those laws. Mr. Speaker, we know that, that, that the average assaulted woman in Canada is assaulted 25 times in a domestic relationship before the police are in fact called. 70% of firearm deaths in this country are suicides. And we know that there are people exploiting violence and, and, uh, and hatred against visible minorities. Mr. Speaker, these laws will empower Canadians to take action to render a dangerous situation, a potentially deadly situation, safe. Honorable Member for British Justice, Etienne Lévy. Mr. Speaker, the minister should apply the existing rules because apparently he's not familiar with the law. The law is already clear. Police can suspend a firearms license and they can prevent someone who has uh, mental health issues or links to crime from acquiring a firearm in the first place. The law is clear, so nothing needs to be changed. Why attack honest citizens instead of tackling the real problem, street gangs? Public safety. Mr. Speaker, anyone who suggests in the face of the, the, the constant threat that women in abusive relationships uh, face from the potential of firearms in the home, the, the individuals who lose their life to suicide, for, for anyone to suggest nothing needs to be done, Mr. Speaker, is unconscionable. Mr. Speaker, red flag laws have overwhelmingly proven their effectiveness because they empower more than just the limited authority of the police, but they give victims, families, teachers, doctors, elders, the opportunity to intervene and to keep people safe. I know some of us in the House have short memories, but the way it works is you ask a question and then you get an answer. Whether you like the answer is irrelevant, but you shouldn't be shouting back and forth while the answer is being given or while the question is being asked. I just want to remind everyone, just in case they forgot that principle. The Honourable Member for Medicine Hat, Carson Warner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, if you recall, I rose to point out that the Prime Minister was misleading Canadians on yeah. firearms. That's right. Public safety should not be a political game. Absolutely. It is our duty in this House to get the facts right to protect facts. Canadians. The current law is very clear. If a firearm owner poses a threat, authorities can confiscate firearms and suspend licenses mm -hmm. preventing further purchases of fire or, 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 or possession. Mm -hmm. If our public safety minister actually had a PEL or an RPEL, he'd already know this instead of trying to develop what he's doing. Mr. Speaker, will the Prime Minister rise, apologize, and correct the record. Yeah. Yeah. Minister for Public Safety. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I, I will admit I'm not a recreational firearm user, but, but I have actually enforced and used these laws to keep communities and people safe. And, can, and what I can tell you, the authority that exists in law... Okay, please continue. The laws that are currently available to that enable law enforcement to, to seize firearms and to revoke a license are limited in their application, Mr. Speaker. And it is only in the circumstances where reasonable probable grounds exist and only in circumstances where a seizure of a firearm has taken place that a firearm can be revoked. And the practical application of that, Mr. Speaker, is that until there's been a return to a justice and that information is conveyed to the, car, to the chief firearms officer, that license can be... <laughs>